you say, obviously you take care of yourself. Uh, you mentioned eating healthy and whatnot. What would be your best tips for keeping in shape, staying healthy, and or maintaining your sanity while modeling or performing? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, let's start off with food, right? So uh, I actually have a massive sugar addiction, but it's actually kept me skinny. <laughs> There's a lot of models, I think, that have a sugar addiction. And uh, if you don't have one and you're a model, don't start it now because 30 years later, I'm still trying to figure out like how to get off the sugar. <gasps> Um, that's one I have not figured out quite yet. Um, portion control. I pretty much eat anything and everything. I just don't eat a lot of anything except sugar. Um, so, and then also I work with a personal trainer. Um, at the moment, I never have before. I just have recently because I had back surgery a couple of years ago and I'm getting to be that age of where if I move the wrong way, I could like be permanently damaged for the, if I sleep the wrong way, I could be permanently damaged for the rest of my life. So I have to make sure that I do that. Um, you know, also for myself, like I've said a couple of times, you know, I'm a very spiritual person and that's how I keep my sanity by meditation. I have a mother goddess, she, my crystals, you know, working with the universe um, on a regular basis, having humility. Um, that's something a lot of models uh, definitely need to work on with time and age. I know I did not have it in my 20s, um, but I work on it really um, hard you know, I always like to say, I'm so humble. I'm humble like Jesus. <laughs> Thank the little people. <laughs> exactly. Actually, I picked that one up from Russell Brand. But, yes. Yeah. So, anyways, um, you know, and therapy doesn't hurt either. And I've also been sober for 10 years as well. So, um, you know, but that's, you know, all of that stuff kind of takes a long time to kind of get it to be, uh, where you have balance and obviously I'm still a workaholic. I still have my sugar addiction. So, you know, the one thing at a time, um, progress, not perfection. Beautiful. Uh, so who would you say inspires you the most in music, movies, literature, spirituality, or life? Um, well, I have a lot of, um, like mentors that I like to, uh, often check in with. Um, I would say the ones that I listen, you know, Dr. Wayne Dyer has always been one of my favorites. Uh, Deepak Chopra has been one of my favorites. Anthony Robbins has been one of my favorites. Um, oh, Gabrielle Bernstein. I love her as well. Pema Chodron. I, I read a lot. I've read like, I don't even know how many books. You know, I love um, the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the Lopena shards, you know, I have, um, <laughs> I know you can't see it right now, but my, my kitty is just lavishing in between my toes over here and she never comes out. So it's kind of funny, but Louise El Hay is probably at the top of that list. So, um, a lot of them are spiritual, you know, as far as it goes with, um, you know, business, I love Ray Dalio. He's been really good as well. Um, you know, I'm really obviously into crypto, so I listen to a ton of like different crypto uh, podcasts. I love Paul Barron. Um, he's one of my favorites and, oh, and Bankless. That's like my favorite crypto podcast. Um, so being that, you know, and I also have like favorite people for sales and marketing, but you know, I, I put my, my spirituality at the top of everything else that goes first. So if I'm spiritually fit, then things with the business and with marketing and all those other things kind of just fit into place. But I can't ignore it. You know, I've been into Anthony Robbins for a long time. And I remember an exercise in my 20s that um, he had you do, which was like make a wheel. And this was like the tire that you're driving your car on. And then split it in the middle. And these are your personal goals and these are your professional goals. And then for each one of them, have it to be like a, a pie. Right, and so finances, are you 20% or 80%, you know, for um, your uh, friendships, are you, you know, 30%? And what you wanna try to do is get that wheel for everything to be even so that you can actually drive your car on it. So um, I do try, <laughs> Kitty is just like feeling some love today over here. So I do try to, um, 
you know, give each and every one of them um, attention because they're all really important. But for me, it's, you know, the whole wheel, the wheel itself is all for me, my mother goddess, she is a spirituality is always first. So can you pick a personal highlight of your career so far, something that really impacted you in a positive way? I don't think negative would be terrible. So yeah, something that really <laughs> stands out that, yeah, that was awesome. Um, You know, I'd probably say there's been like two, well, a couple of different highlights. I mean, fuck, I've been, in, I've been around a long time. Um, you know, the number one one was getting into Playboy magazine, right? And it especially means more now that it doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> so I, and I wasn't somebody like now they have where you can pay photographers to be on the cover of like FHM and Maxim and all these, you know, Australia. Um, but I actually was in Playboy when you had to be picked by the hef. Uh, to actually be in it so and that was a really really big deal because it was the only time they ever shot adult film stars uh, I was the one and only time and there was like 10 of us that got into it and you know at that time we were like 10 of the top biggest porn stars and it was a very coveted position so that is probably my first one and then secondary would be I just this year one uh, fan favorite dominatrix of the year uh, that means a lot to me, not exactly for what it's supposed to mean, but for what I gave it as a meaning for myself. Um, and for me, it's just, you know, a culmination of 30 years of, you know, all the different things that I've brought to the femdom world of, as being the pioneer of pegging and doing all kinds of things that really nobody was doing that was femdom back in the day. Um, and kind of just giving my, my own self a pat on the back for, you know, I had like one of the first ever financial domination websites. So, um, so for me, that was like a culmination of everything I had done in the last 30 years with Femdom. And then, you know, when I left the business, I won probably 20 awards for mainstream film producing. I had a film of mine premiere at the Cannes Film Festival. I've won um, awards from the Toronto Film Fest. So when I was doing independent filmmaking, you know, I won a lot of awards. I'm really proud of that. Um, and the fact that when I did the DJing stuff too, I got to travel all over the world and spin vinyl. I had a gig in Tokyo uh, that was on top of a hotel where I was spinning vinyl and um, playing my favorite kind of music. So those are probably have been like some of the highlights of different aspects of my career um, that I've really in, that I've really enjoyed and that I'm proud of. Okay, um, so. Do you have, outside of that, uh, do you have any achievements outside of your main career that you'd like to tell your fans about? Mm -hmm. so you've done a lot. I mean, you've done a lot in your lifetime, which is awesome. Probably, you know, something that has nothing to do with my, um, my career is my sobriety, right? So um, I definitely don't do that perfectly, um, but I do work on it really hard. I've been sober uh, 10 out of the last 11 years. Um, so I don't smoke weed, I don't drink alcohol. Um, and, um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that because, you know, I, I live in a pretty fast paced lifestyle. Uh, where, you know, and I do love drugs and sex and alcohol together. God bless. It's just, you know, it's euphoric. So, you know, for someone like myself that, you know, loves some ecstasy and ketamine and a you know, little candy flip, you know, to sacrifice all of that. <laughs> but I do have lupus. I've got two autoimmune diseases, which is why I originally got sober. But um, over the years of uh, working a program, I've gotten so many amazing rewards uh, from my sobriety and I'm really proud that even though I don't do it perfect that I've stuck with it um, and um, yeah that's probably my my one thing outside of business that I've done that I'm really proud of. Well congratulations on that. And I've paid all my taxes. Oh, <laughs> Not everybody can say that can they? Right. <laughs> <laughs>